here we go again. Welcome PCQIs. Here we go again in continuation on our hazard analysis uh, for uh, Listeria. So in this topic, we're gonna look at the plant environment. So when, when I'm making an assessment or an observation, uh, these are the things that I look at uh, and pay attention to. Uh, so on floors, I look at cracks, um, you know, sometimes the cement is just, uh, or the flooring, uh, epoxy and whatnot, is just coming apart. So you look at cracks and crevices as well on, you know, on the corners, uh, the way it would, uh, it drains. Now, some of these corners, uh, they do, you know, uh, they break uh, because of uh, the process of how they built those corners um, and the way it overlaps with the wall. Sometimes you get those separations and now you have uh, that source. Uh, it's just gonna be growing comfortably uh, into those corners. So take a look at your cracks and crevices. Uh, your, your basic GMPs at this point, um, you know, integrity of your walls, uh, the drains, uh, that's another one that we're gonna touch on uh, later on. Obviously that's where uh, the main source sometimes uh, how those drains are maintained, the depth, uh, if uh, all of their ne uh, necessary preventive controls for water coming back or the sewage coming up uh, and things like that. Okay, ceilings, uh, over uh, for the ceilings, I look at overhead structures, okay? Uh, sometimes, you know, you look at it, uh, there might be an overspray there. Um, they have a squeegee system that would take care of that issues if there's an overspray. Uh, my question to that is that ceiling, obviously, it's, you know, uh, it's soiled in my opinion, right? Because with all the moistures and all of the condensation uh, that goes up and, and biofilm start, starts as well at that point. And, and you do that process, it's now dropping on clean uh, and sanitized area. So a lot of this is on pre-ops, so pre-ops would see it. So what I recommend is for the sanitation lead or managers, uh, you know, to take a look at that, uh, you know, throughout your process so you can capture it, assuming that condensation or that water that's that's hit up there is now contaminated and you don't want it falling down to, uh, you know, your food contact surfaces um, and on the food. So you're gonna take care of it, right? So for me, uh, as PCQI observed that, uh, I'd rather see that part of it taken care of, uh, you know, during the cleaning and sanitation, not on, uh, obviously pre ops is verifying it, but when you see it and you deal with it, you need to have sanitation controls again, uh, in the assumption that that water uh, or that liquid hitting the floor slash uh, tables and whatnot, uh, is contaminated okay so uh, also in ceilings you got to look at your overhead structure so there's a lot of things going on there you know you got light fixtures or you might have tubes and vent tubes um, and, you know that are that are just uh, you know they're up there you know you're looking at it going okay how do I deal with those uh, you know you're, I'm, am I looking at condensation is there standing water and some of that uh, shelving units that are above uh, on that ceiling area and, thing, and things like that um, now standing water, I've mentioned, right, and condensation. Uh, there's some plants that I've seen that there's ice accumulation. That's another, that's another issue uh, that you might want to pay attention to. Um, but wet insulation is one. So there's a lot of techniques out there. So you just get with your construction company if you are new and, and, and building a, a, a wet facility. Uh, for that, but for me, uh, I look at you know walls bulging if there's also moisture uh, going behind it uh, for wet insulation in walls uh, and around pipes, right? Condensation and cooling units. Um, 
uh, rubber seals around the doors it's also one uh, that's a that's a, a source of uh, for uh, contaminant this point for the stereo so look at metal joints uh, and welds and bolts so anyway so for plant environment that's what we're gonna be covering uh, as part of the hazard analysis um, anyways thank you for joining and like I said if you need some information please uh, email info at consultainc.com uh, research uh, and research team okay thanks everybody